Moms and dads, you know, superbugs are on the rise right now. That, those are the bacteria that are resistant to one or more antibiotics, and they kill thousands of people every year. Yeah, and this morning there is word that the meat that we're buying and eating could be contributing to the problem. Action News reporter Joanne Purton explains in this morning's Don't Waste Your Money report. Seems like a strange connection, but it has to do with the fact that many of the animals we eat are regularly given antibiotics. A new survey by our partners at Consumer Reports shows a majority of people want meat in their supermarket that's raised without antibiotics. You probably assume most antibiotics are prescribed for people. Not so. It's estimated that 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are given to animals to help them grow faster and to prevent disease in unsanitary conditions. This is contributing to the rise of antibiotic resistant superbugs, according to Consumer Reports' Gene Halloran. And if you happen to get sick, you could be in trouble. It may be very difficult to find an antibiotic that will help you get well. It may even be impossible. You can find meat that's been raised without antibiotics. In fact, at Whole Foods, that's the only kind of meat for sale. But at other stores, it can be much harder to figure out what you're getting. We found a few labels that are misleading and not even approved by the government. Antibiotic free is one example, and the label natural, while government approved, has nothing to do with antibiotics. More helpful labels are ones like no antibiotics administered and no antibiotics ever. But even better are labels that also say USDA process verified. This means that the government has gone out and checked up on the processor to make sure that they're doing what they claim. Organic is another sure bet for shoppers. All organic meat is raised without antibiotics. Looking for these labels is the best way to ensure that the meat you're buying has no antibiotics. Consumer Reports found that meat raised without antibiotics doesn't necessarily cost a lot more than regular meat. Its shoppers found it at very reasonable prices in several stores. You can read more of Consumer Reports' complete investigation on antibiotics and meat on the homepage of our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.